I'm an American standing in Moscow, Russia. And I've been brought to a place by my Russian friend here where apparently Russian men are going to beat each other for fun with their fists. Behind me is a giant colorful castle. Let's see if Russian men will actually beat each other today. No head protection. Wow. Come along with me right now, explore this place and find out with my two half Russian sons. Are Russians crazy? This? There was a naked man climbing that pole, but we missed it. Are you next? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm outside without a hat and a jacket on. Don't tell my wife. Christoph, have you ever seen this before? No. So what do you think? Uh, it's strange. So these are real pine cones, yep. and they're sweet, and you can eat them. Because I had this in my holiday video, and some people didn't believe me. As I suspected, we've been put in jail for not beating other Russian men as we were supposed to. Yesterday, I was on the metro at night, alone, in the dark, and my metro card was not working. I got upset a little bit inside this thing, and I thought to myself, my cameraman Josiah must have accidentally switched cards, or on purpose switched cards with me, and given me his daily card in exchange for my annual card. And then I realized I'd been here for two years, and it was time for me to get a new annual pass. And uh, I used my Russian bank card and got home anyway, even though this thing wasn't working. So I survived. And today, Kristoff, Kristoff, say hello. Uh, hello. My Russian speaking son bought me a new annual pass. <laughs> Christoph, what is this thing? Uh, I don't know. It's some gun. Some big A giant thing. gun? Yep. Do they have this at Disney? I don't know. No? No. Are you sure? I sure. Interesting, huh? Yep. Why it's red? I don't know. Pavel Kabanov? 
Do I have to wait in line? No. Dumb. Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh yeah. Поменялись, выходит следующие. Дерутся. Pablo, what just happened there? This mass fight is called Stenka na Stenku, wall on the wall. So men are actually group boxing. Yeah. Wow. Historically, they were not wearing the protection. Very interesting. Only hand to hand male combat. Only for fun with no real sense because they want to and they can to do it legally. And we are inside a Kremlin, right? Pretend Kremlin. It's not very old actually. It looks like should be something old but not it's only 26 years old right now hmm. all right and a kremlin for a western audience is what fortress made of wood historically accurate and some of them made of stone most of the walls in the perimeter but some structures too plus the church the church must be inside <laughs> All right, Pavel, what do you see here? I can see the slippery pole. You need to climb up. It was oiled traditionally, so it was very hard to climb up. You need to like undress yourself completely to be able to grab it somehow. And if you manage to get all the way up, you will get the prize. Most wow. The That'll be the climax of this video. You can strip down and climb the pole for us. Very interesting. No head protection. Wow. Very interesting culture. I'm living in a country where for fun, for a festival, on a holiday, the men gather in the square and literally beat each other. Amazing, amazing. Why is it strange? Uh, I don't know why you, you need to do it on Mazlanitsa. It's strange that men are beating each other yeah. on Mazlanitsa? <laughs> yes. Like literally beating yeah. each other without headgear. Yes. <laughs> Looks like those are the winners, I guess. What's interesting is all the people that are watching this um, that don't believe in Russia, that think Russia is the enemy uh, from other countries. I would think if you see this, you've got to be thinking, so if you're thinking Russia is your enemy, you've got to be thinking 
so this is what my enemy does in their spare time. It's got to be disconcerting, I would say. Pablo, are these ancient Russian games, uh, a soccer ball and broomsticks? With plastic brooms? No. <laughs> Something new. Is it from your childhood, though? No, I think they just made it up today. <laughs> so this is a fake. This is a fake Kremlin, meaning a, a kids pretend uh, enclosed fortress. Why kids or adults? Oh, okay. Well, I am enjoying it. That's for sure. It was made, the building was started in 1998, so yeah, it's relatively new. Okay. It's pretend Kremlin it should look like, like something old, but definitely not. Like, uh, style of Russian style, but actually it's not the real Russian style in architecture. It looks like a fairy tale version of Russia. Like the cartoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know this game, Kristoff. You played this last year. What do you think, Maxime? Kristoff won. Tug of war. Kristoff, you tipped the scales. You did it. Tastes just like a pine cone. A little too much like a pine cone. <laughs> it is a pine cone. <laughs>
Russian holiday this week, uh, so we gotta eat our blini, it's tradition. Kristoff, how's the blini? Very tasty. So this is an old-fashioned phone that we found here. Would it be a Soviet phone? Are you tall enough, Kristoff? Can you do it, son? Jump! Jump! Oh, you did it! You did it again! Fantastic! So if this is your first time watching this channel, I am an American who moved here with my Russian wife and five children eight days before the special military operation. And we're doing these hopefully fun and informative videos to show the West that Russia is a normal place. But is it a normal place? Perhaps not, according to this video. <laughs> there goes a horse. You're a Russian in Russia. Come on, let's do it. I can't. Maxime, so how to show? There's a boiling drink of some kind. They're waiting in line to enjoy.
So this is a flea market area that they have here. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. And um, it's locked for today because they're charging entry for this event. <laughs> Pavel has brought us to an indoor restaurant where it's nice and warm and there's not that many people because he's a rich man. <laughs> Pavel, what do you think of the prices here? I think most of the prices are average, but the tea price, price for the teapot, the half a liter, is 400 rubles. Uh huh. And that's a problem? Uh, you know, the beer is cheaper and the soup is cheaper than the just a cup of tea. Well, is thanks it... for letting me know what I should do. <laughs> yeah. It's not too expensive Just take though. the beer. It's a theme park. Whenever you're in a theme park, you always pay more. i comparing the whole menu with, with the different positions. And the tea is just out of common sense. Look around, guys. It's the same as in America, Pavel. When they can charge you extra, they're gonna charge you extra. And when you're stuck in the theme park system, they're gonna charge you extra. But does this look like a restaurant in your city? I think it looks just like a tourist restaurant from Florida all the way to New York. Like the, you know, the, the whitewashed brick, and the old fashioned style, very nice. Christoph, what do you think, is it tasty? What is it, young man? Kavas. Kavas? And what is Kavas, Kristoff? Uh, it's something... Yeah. Russian Coca-Cola, no? <laughs> I would say it's Russian root beer. <laughs> you know what root beer is, Pavel? Less alcohol beer. Yeah, most likely a Coca-Cola taste. It's like an alcohol-free beer, yeah. Maxime, you also have a giant stein of liquid? Maxime's gonna let me try his kvass. The fire show might start it already. I'm looking to see if they're gonna burn the scarecrow girl or not, but I don't see her. Pavel got pizza. I don't know why. I'm the American, I got pizza, it's obvious. Strips of ham and mushroom. But you're not an Italian. Does this, well, I, I have trace amounts of Italian blood in me, but only trace. Does this look Maybe like pizza too. in your city? Beer in the jar. Just like I'm in a country restaurant in America, they have brought my piva in a in a, a mason jar, like a jelly jar. I can close it up with the lid and take it home. Again, Pavel and I are waiting for them to burn the girl. And the fire show. The fire the show burning. before the burning. So they're gonna do a fire show and burn a girl for us. And there's horses walking we hope by. So. <laughs> Squirrel. Russia is pagan after all. Amazing. Wow. 
seeing it for the first time. And the crowd is happy. So, what did you think of this place? What did you think of this video? Is Russia what you thought it was? Is Moscow what you thought it was? Is this a scary place? Would you ever come here? Click like, subscribe, ring the bell notification. Interrupt my speech right now, click the share button, send this to your friends. Click the box to see what happens next. And don't forget to join our Telegram channel if you want to be part of our Telegram family and get more daily updates on the show and our life here. And have a great night. You ready? Are we lit? We are. If you feel inspired to say something, do so. Okay. Fish. I don't like fish. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah.